So the service lateral uh, testing program that I want to talk about is really about getting customers who have standing structures to what we call the coveted letter, which is lifting the water quality advisory um, at their structure, which is really PID saying with supreme confidence, we are delivering potable water to your meter. In order to be able to send that letter to somebody, what we need to do is we need to have confidence in the reservoirs and, and the treatment plant that it's meeting all the standards. We also need confidence that the water main network getting from the treatment plant down into those neighborhoods are in compliance. And really right now we've, we've shown and it's continuously been that those, those aspects of the PID system are in compliance. The next step we need to do is test the water main in front of their house, adjacent to their house, and the service lateral, which is the pipe from the water main to their water meter. And to do so, what we need to do is let the water stagnate in their service lateral at least 72 hours. That's the most accurate way to characterize the condition of the pipe. We analyze, uh, and we also take a sample from the main. We analyze those samples for a full suite of volatile organic compounds. We do a quality control check to make sure that the lab was doing the work that they said they were and it's all correct. Those results go to a water quality committee, which is made up of uh, PID staff, with uh, they can lean on some experts' opinions about if there's anything unusual going on. And only after that long process will PID authorize issuing a, a letter lifting the water quality advisory to a customer. If we do find that the pipe is contaminated, their service lateral, PID's policy is to replace that pipe. Once we find we've detected that there's contamination in there, um, we do we don't typically further test. We just replace it with a brand new pipe. It's absolutely critical about stagnating the water in the service lateral to accurately characterize the condition of it. The EPA did a lot of good science. All of our experience shows us by letting the water stagnate. If there's any contamination in the pipe, it desorbs into the water, and then we accurately know what's going on with that pipe. So sampling the water from the pipes, the samples are collected both from the service lateral. We also, at the same time, take a second sample, which represents the main. So now, when those results come back, we have confidence in what's going on in that service lateral and the main right in front of the house. Also, that main sample, is one of our indicators to understand is the system still staying clean. It's another reason why we take that second sample. And when you see, when I put up the graphic of these mainline samples, you're going to see basically Paradise is all tons of green dots. As we go around, we also like to not just start at the top and work our way down in the system. We go neighborhood by neighborhood in a slightly random fashion. So these mainline samples are giving us every week another snapshot of the entire system to make sure that no contamination is popping up from somewhere or it's not moving around. And our data shown that once the system was in compliance, it has remained in compliance. The samples, when they're collected, they follow, just like if you've watched CSI, this crime scene shows, it has a chain of custody. There's <coughs> signatures at each way along the way, so it's traceable where those samples went all the way to the lab when those results come back. And we're following strict standard methods uh, of the analysis. Once it gets to the lab, only state accredited labs are used to analyze the samples. They're doing that full suite of VOCs. Results are reported electronically back to us too. And we have, can you tell us how many? 280,000 280, individual results so far. And so getting it, <laughs> I can't get that right if I was doing it on paper, so everything's done electronically to uh, reduce any errors. To further that, we have uh, quality control, but through an independent group, checking the results <coughs> to make sure that things are going correctly. And lastly, now that we've collected all this information, it goes to this water quality uh, review, and each, in, each individual location, they literally go, customer address, customer address, and it's approved because sometimes there's extenuating circumstances that will cause, it'll come back from the committee to my group. We're not comfortable yet, we need some more information. We get that in line, we can come back with that. So every, it's not like we put all this data into a bucket, you say, well, the bucket looks clean. It's every individual address is checked through this committee. 
And only after they approve it uh, does the water quality advisory get lifted. And there's a copy of the, the coveted letter um, that PID has been sending out for months now to customers saying, we have thoroughly tested the system. We are absolutely confident that we're uh, delivering potable water to your, to your water needs. 